welcome to another episode of Tag Along With Chai. Because Cambodia is somewhat a fast developing country, I'd like to take you to the newest, biggest shopping mall here in Cambodia. The shopping mall behind us is called Aeon Mall Number no. 3. I had already a little peek inside, it is beautiful. This shopping mall is huge, it's got cinemas, a bowling hall and a lot of retail. Let's have a look. <laughs> so I think throughout the episode we're gonna be impressed by the amount of screens hanging. I'm pretty sure it's LED, but it is well done. It looks beautiful, massive, and also even the pillars are screens. So I'm not normally doing shopping malls. Now I'm actually based in Thailand showing you the beauty of Southeast Asia and now we are in Cambodia and in the beginning I was saying about the development here in Cambodia I have to say 10 years ago or 11 12 years ago I've been in Phnom Penh uh, visiting the killing fields and learned a little bit about the country but now we are here for several weeks and exploring it even deeper than I've done it before and I'm really happy to be here and seeing also that the country is developing and that the country is developing in a, in a rapid way, definitely inside of the city, inside of Phnom Penh. Guys, you're gonna have to check it out. If you haven't been here for several years, this mall cost about $280 million. So this is also adding to the development of Cambodia. There is another shopping mall opening here as well. And $2.2 billion is invested in the infrastructure around the shopping mall. So I think this is also adding to Cambodia's development. Only a handful of shops are still closed because the grand opening has been in April. There's a lot to explore. I'm super excited because this is gonna be my first shopping mall in Cambodia. This is the new Ale Mall in Phnom Penh. There is a parking lot giving you opportunity to park. There's lots of parking here. But if you don't feel like driving yourself, it is also possible to get a taxi over here via the Pass app. This is like Grab. Uh, it's a taxi service, let's say. They offer a 50% discount to come over here from the city. We only pay two US dollars to get from the center of Phnom Penh to here. It's still quite a bit of a drive. I think it's like 13 kilometers away from the really center of Phnom Penh, like where the Royal Palace is located. Um, yeah, it only took us about 40 minutes to get here. It was a bit of traffic jam. This shop recently turned into my favorite shop. Decathlon seemed to do pretty well taking over a big market, a big outdoor sports market with affordable sports gear and the stuff that I've been buying in Decathlon, going from fishing rods to t-shirts, it never let me down. But uh, then again, I'm not here to promote Decathlon. I'm just super excited to be in my favorite shop in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein, Starbucks, Chevrolet, a lot of big brands are here on the first floor. Let me take you up to the next level. All the floors, they have these screens standing around and you can actually navigate yourself around the building. There's not much information about this shopping mall. There's not many YouTube videos and there's not even a Wikipedia page made for the shopping mall while we're making this video right now. So yeah, I have to figure it out myself or we have to figure it out ourselves now we're here. Hopefully I'll be able to entertain you a little bit longer. I don't really like shopping myself, I don't need anything, but just wandering around a new shopping mall like this. Yeah, especially it's really hot and it's nicely air conditioning. The people here, the staff is really friendly. Not everyone is speaking English though. I have been approaching a few people here and there and um, they are always willing to help and uh, there's always someone nearby who can speak English.
I'm not able to show you everything of this mall. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk around a little bit longer before we start having some dinner, because it's dinner time, it's 9.30. Before I'm taking you up to the Sky Bridge, I'd like to take you to the food garden because I'm super hungry. There's burger, chicken, pizza, there's uh, Western and Khmer food. But because of the sushi, it's 50% discount because it's at the end of the evening. We're gonna go for some sushi, guys. Hakon, where can I get chopsticks? Okay, okay. This shopping mall has been good so far, really. I am amazed by the amount of screens they use. The food selection here is quite small, but they have still quite a bit over here. They have chicken, burgers, pizza, sushi, noodles, um, also Khmer food, obviously. But I couldn't resist. Normally sushi is very expensive for me and this is quite affordable, only $2.50 for this platter. The pluses of this shopping mall, they are endless. If you have enough of the busyness of Phnom Penh, and I can understand this, it's a, it's a really busy, hectic city, a lot of traffic. A half an hour, maybe 40 minute drive outside of the city and you're here at the shopping mall. They have all the brands you can think of, delicious food, friendly staff, everything is air conditioning. They have enough things to do for children if you come here with your kids to Cambodia. Amazing design, it is clean. Guys, you're gonna have to check it out, coming to Phnom Penh. One of the cool features is that they have a sky bridge here with a glass floor. This one is shut already, I want to take you there, but we are on the third floor. We're gonna walk around this little track. There's a track going around roughly 200 meters long. Throughout the building there are clean toilets and I didn't even get the chance to show you the little park on the second floor. There's a beautiful park, nicely lit. I just dropped off Ilona, my girlfriend, she's going back to Thailand, back to Chiang Mai. So that's the plan as well. We're gonna make several episodes coming up, base in Chiang Mai for a little bit, fly out to Kuala Lumpur. Indonesia is on the map, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna go back to Cambodia at some stage. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. I would like to say from the capital city of Cambodia, in Phnom Penh, bye for now, and stay champ.